Since I've heard lots and lots of people ask how it is you get an STL file to print on your Polaroid PlaySmart 3D printer, I decided to make a video. Um, so here's what you do first. First you go to a web browser and you go to Thingiverse and or any other place where you can get SDL files and you find the one you want and Thingiverse has thousands and thousands of them so let's say I wanted to print this cute little Among Us video I mean not video 3D thing paint so you click on the actual image and it brings up the page for that thing and then you click on download all files and it will download to your hard drive and once it's done downloading depending on your browser you'll be able to access it somehow if you're in Chrome like me it's down here in the corner if you're in Firefox it'd be a little arrow up here so now you can see the files once you click on the zip uh, um sorry I almost sneezed then you click on files and you should be able to get all the different parts here. So I'm just going to use this as an example and copy one of these parts, close everything, and then paste it to my hard drive. So you can see I've got a bunch of STL files already here. I've got tons of them. Um, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to my browser. And I'm going to click on this link up here. Now, this is the download software option. So you should be able to go to polaroid3d.com slash en, that's for English, slash software. And I'll put a link below. Um, that will let you enter your serial number from the bottom of your PlaySmart and click submit. And then it will let you download the software. The PlaySmart um, prep, smart prep software, the Polaroid smart prep. It is where you actually put your information, I mean your STL file in, and you create the file that you need to take over to your printer. So now I'm in my software, and I would just click Add Model, and then I would choose the STL file I want, and I've got it now on my on my bed. So. You could at this point change the size of it, but if you have multiple pieces, just make sure you always scale it to the same scale. So I'm gonna say, scale this one to two. So it'll double the size of what it was. Let's say I wanted a bigger crew member for my thing. I guess this isn't a crew member, it's the imposter. But <laughs> anyway, okay. So now once you've got it where you want it, make sure you click on this place on desktop because if you moved it around, it might end up so that it was a little bit off the bed and that would be complicated when it tries to print because it would want to create, um, it would want, want to create supports instead of just printing it directly on the bed. So click play, place on bed and now you can click print. So now it seems a little not intuitive, but print is the next thing you do. You click enable support. You don't have to necessarily on this one. I click enable support on everything. That way, if anything needs support, it just puts it in automatically. At this point, you would then choose the filament material and I'm using PLA, which is cool. You can also do any of these other options um, if you have those kinds of filament. And you choose the print quality. If you need to get advanced, now I don't even understand the majority of these yet. I am still learning. But um, they give you all of the options here. So click OK. And then click Print. And it's going to calculate up here. I will say that if it says calculating for an inordinately long amount of time, <laughs> there's something wrong. Because I had one sit there on my other computer for an hour and it just kept saying calculating and never actually finished printing. I don't know what was going on. I just gave up using that computer to create these G-code files. So now I'm going to click save and then I'm going to save the G-code file. So I call it something that helps me remember. This is going to be Among Us 1 and click save. 
That is all there is to it. At this point, you would just copy that file onto an SD card and place the SD card inside your PlaySmart printer and um, then choose new print SD card and then it should be listed on that list of of g-code files that are on the card then you just print um, as if you know, just click print and it starts so that's really all there is to it um, if you have any questions holler and I will add them to the to the comments below. So, thanks very much. Bye-bye.